sorry if you guys hear stuff in the background. Still getting things a little set up here. I guess I should, uh, uh, start it early. Start it early. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll make this, this. Lower this down, and then we'll go BOOM! What's up everybody? How's it going? Ugh. What a day. What a day. It's been a good day today. It's been a really good day. I woke up early, got a lot of work done, and then lo and behold, the alpaca package comes. Fix the camera real quick. So, uh, so I thought, yeah, at first I was like, I was getting ready to dig into it. And it was funny because my dad went outside and found the package and he started opening it up <laughs> so it's kind of already open uh but he was like what is this do you know what this is and i was like whose name's on it and he didn't say and so i walked over and he said like there's no name and i looked at it and it said scribe productions and i was like that's the name right there <laughs> <laughs> so he opened up my alpaca package, but it's okay. It's all good. Ugh. Okay. So. So it's already kind of been opened, as you can see. So. But it's okay. It just means I don't have to go through the, the pain of opening the stuff on my own. Okay, so here we go. First thing that pops out to me is my old, very old alpaca. Oh yeah. You guys don't even know. I've been waiting for, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out where I'm gonna put this guy. It's probably gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, maybe I'll put him right here in the window. It'll be the sneaky alpaca. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I can make him fit. I'll, I'll have to figure something out. We gotta figure out a name for this one. Jerry the Alpaca, maybe? I don't know, we gotta figure out a name. It's so fun, it is. It feels so good. This is my new pet and I don't even have to feed it. It's awesome. So this is great, thank you. And Laura and Nick are both in the chat right now. Thank you so much, this, this came from them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So here's the, uh, the hoodie. Okay, or not the hoodie, the, uh, the beanie. I don't know if it's supposed to fold. I guess it's supposed to fold. Did you make this yourself, Laura? You finally caught an alpaca? Yeah. I did, right? Alright, let's try this on. So, so this is the beanie, right? Checking out the package. Pretty good. I'm starting a collection to get braces for Adam's alpaca, or I need to report him to PETA. <laughs> wow, these are really old. God, you see how skinny I was back then? See how skinny you were back then? <laughs> Where'd you find these? Look. My dad found more stuff all like fixing stuff up. This is me when I was a teenager. Holy crap. Jeez. Wow. Actually, this pretty good looking back then. <laughs> Not gonna lie. You knitted it from the alpaca yarn? Oh, so you made this. Okay. Here, Dad. 
So you made this lovely piece of headgear that's going to keep me warm in the cold nights here in Texas. Yes. Oh. It does. It looks really good. I'm going to keep wearing it. It's much longer than my other beanie that I have, so, okay. Alright, so we have a card here. <laughs> okay, so, the card says, Knock knock, who's there? Tweet. Tweet who? Tweet grandsons like you deserve the tweetiest Valentine's Day ever. Grandson? Card is written on car hood. Oh! Hope you get feeling better. Have ads plus one as. Oh! <laughs> ads plus one! Ed for skills, alpaca care package, get Mergle better, you're my favorite grandson. I'm your gra grandson? What? Okay. Well, thank you. I did Aww. Aww. They, they wrote it and everything. Aww. You missed, okay, you missed my very own alpaca. You missed the card that I just, well, I just did this. And then this beanie. This is all I've gotten out of the, the, the package so far. What's up, Jugs? <laughs> Grandson, got it. I like it. I, I'll, I'll, I'll accept that role. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Okay. <laughs> oh, the box got kind of messed up. That's okay. So, we have Llama Valentine's Day cards. So I guess we're going to have to include llamas eventually, right? We can't let the llamas fill out, but mostly alpacas. Uh-oh. Llama say, llama. What? Llama say you are amazing Valentine's. You are lame. <laughs> you are wooly cool Valentine's. <laughs> Llama wish you happy valentines. Join my alpaca. <laughs> From Fred to Kelsey. Oh, this is cute. Llama be your valentine. You're, you are a wooly great fan valentine. That's so cute. That's so cute. Yeah, I know. I finally have an alpaca. To, to keep me uh, to keep me company at night. Oh, it's fluffy too. Like this fur, this this fluff, this fluff is so. Mm. Like I want a pillow made out of this. <laughs> okay. Whoa. What is this? Okay. This is kind of. Oh. What? Okay. This is pretty cool. And I like that it has the hair. I almost don't want to even open this because it has the hair on it. But I, I love beef jerky. And that's what this is. This is Jack Link's jerky. Whew. Oh no, the hair's caught on the sticker thing. No! We're gonna fix this. Eh. Adam's alpaca needs braces. They didn't have alpaca ones. It's okay. Llamas are a really close second. We'll be alright. It includes teriyaki beef jerky. Hell oh, yeah! Love is in the hair. Are you trying to say, like, is this post because I have, like, a lack of hair? Is that what, is that what this is all about? <laughs> Alpaca jerky. Well, technically it's Bigfoot jerky, you know. I guess this falls in line with the whole conspiracy thing, right? Oh, that's why it's not opening. Hang on a second. Okay. I've never really done an unboxing before, so... Y'all have to bear with me. I'm not good at this. I'm not prepared. 
fight like I probably should be. Open. <laughs> like the Bigfoot, this does not want to be seen. Okay, come on. Come, come on. Open up. Jeez. The Jack Lynx is giving me one heck of time. We thought it was furry, and yeah, the truth is out there. <laughs> the truth is out there. Oh, snap. Oh, I got beef jerky tonight. I know what I'm snacking on. All right, so Jack Link's big, bit or I, I keep wanting to say Big Jack. <laughs> okay. Oh. What is hot chicken flavored ramen? Yes, I'm out of ramen too. Yes. Oh, this is like, where's this menu? Oh, same yang food. <laughs> so I got some Buddha ramen. That's crazy good. This'll be a uh, Big Jack jerky. <laughs> Okay, let's see what else we got here. Um, so, I'm not sure what's up with the, uh, is this baby powder? Yeah, this is baby powder. I'm, I'm kind of curious as to why you sent me baby powder, but I can only hazard a guess. Oh, this is Korean ramen. Okay. It's for the it's for the alpaca. It's for the baby powders for the alpaca. I got you. Okay. Soft and it's got a low with vitamin E. Ooh, gonna be feeling good tonight. Okay. All right. Next. What is this? What is? What is this? Oh, wait a second. Oh, I know what this is. At first, I thought it was like a glass or something, but no, 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 no. This is a hockey, uh, this is a hockey, uh, well I guess you can put coffee in it or put whatever in it, but this is a hockey mug, the Vegas Golden Knights. I didn't even know Vegas had a hockey team to be honest. Dope, look at that. Ha! And this is one of the sports that I actually do enjoy, so thank you for that. Thank you so much. Sales guy was weird. I felt like we were buying um what? and damn hot. <laughs> My second job. Oh you just got okay. So this is brand new. This is brand new team. Dope. Okay. Okay. Something's inside. Oh, it's got a warranty. Keeps drinks cold, keeps drinks hot, dishwasher safe, reduces condensation, earth friendly. I like that. Thank you so much for this one too. You guys are amazing. I don't even know what to say. I have, I don't know what to say. Okay, so let's just keep going. Oh, okay. Where's on? <gasps> okay, Andreas is gonna freak out when he sees this. I'm not taking these out of the package. So I already had uh, <laughs> Draco Azul issues one and two on my uh, 
my Kindle on my phone, but now I have the hardback cover. What? And I have issue two. What? These are not coming out of the package because I've already read them and I'm just going to hold on to these because these are going to be worth a lot of money one day. Hard cover. Now I don't have to hold up my phone. I can just be like, yo, bam. Drake Ozul. I'm still gonna use I'm still gonna use my phone to, to read it, but these are staying in the coat. Issues one and two. Thank you. And and this one I, I'm gonna have to read. The uh Full Metal Chronicles of Drake Ozul, Primal Warrior. I haven't actually read this one yet, so I'm definitely ooh. This looks really good. So uh So I'm gonna have to see if I ever get to meet Andreas, I'm gonna get him to sign these. But uh thank you so much for this. This is like this is amazing. Oh I haven't ugh. this is really cool. I'm really digging this. I'm really digging this. Now I have something to read. Okay. Put those safely over there. Okay. Now for this thing, I don't even know. Oh wait, hang on. What is this? Eric Schuster, comic book artist. Okay. Oh, it's a deck of playing cards. Wait, hang on. Okay. So, it says Daikaiju. Oh, I'm definitely keeping this. Keeping that card. Uh, look at that. This is this is a playing deck. I don't even know if I want to play with them though. I love playing poker and 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 blackjack and hearts and spades, all that good stuff. All right, let's see. I just want to take a look. Okay, so we got little Godzilla, right? Not to be uh, not to be mixed up with Minya. We have looks like. Godzilla tearing through a city? Yeah. I wish the camera would show it better in focus. Stupid camera. Focus. Nope. Okay. Guess not. This is cool. You should have issue one. Open it. They're all different. Yeah. Godzilla walked through the city to a spades. Wait, every single card is different? That's gonna be cool. That's gonna be crazy. So we got Batch right here. All right, three of spades. Four of spades is Batra Imago. Fear the Batra. We got Monster X. Five of spades. Mega Gearus. This is cool. I'm liking these. Orga. Biolanti. This is awesome. I'm digging these cards. And these are all, this is all like drawn by Eric Sh Schutzer, am I saying this wrong? I'm probably like butchering his name. Space Gojira. And it's got, look, hey, Paul, if you're still looking, if you're still watching, look, you see all of the sp uh, spikes are coming out of his back. This is his flying form. Th that's what this is. <laughs> we were talking about that the other day. We have a destroyer. I'm, I'm digging this one. Ooh, Showa Mecha Godzilla is the Jack. Oh, what is this? Okay. Uh, ow. Heisei Mecha Godzilla two. All right, as the Queen. The King is Kiru. Where am I? <laughs> Please never say Biolante like that again. Uh, uh, Millennium Godzilla. These cards are. Oh wow! I just noticed. <gasps> Whoa. 
They all are all different. Holy crap. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What? Okay, these aren't... Okay. I'm sorry, I'm like... I'm skipping through them because if I was to show you every single... Every single card is different. Wow. Every single card is different. Every single one. I know you said that earlier, but I thought you meant like... Each of the... Each of the like numbered whatever no every the 52 cards every single one of them has a different piece of artwork like here's one that everybody will recognize amanda and he's holding on to the that's the, the atragon right or the gotengo i'm not sure which one that is it's a <laughs> godzilla sorosu 54 different images so is it 54 i thought it was 52 well, I guess if you count the Jokers, it's 54, right? I'm so bad at this. <laughs> this is so awesome! Gorosaurus, Varen, Baragon. It's your boy, your Jaguar! <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay. King Sisaru. Yes. Dude, this is cool. Oh, they even have Shin Godzilla. Oh, I wonder if Godzilla Earth is in here somewhere. That's that's cool. That's really cool. I forgot what these things are called. This is from 1984. The little the little uh, insect crustacean thingy that jumps on the people in the ship. I cannot remember what they're called. Let's see what else we got here. The Dorats. I'm just, I'm not showing them all off. I kind of like skipped around, but I'm showing off my fit. Okay. Frankenstein fighting the octopus. That's really cool. That's really cool. Gira. Oh, Kamata Kun. Shinagawa Kun. Bagon's even in here. Mechani Kong. <laughs> okay. This is cool for all you gargantuan fans. He's chasing people. Oh yeah, the bride <laughs> bridesmaid. <laughs> yeah, that would have been that would have been a good inside joke. Mecha King Ghidorah. Wow, okay. I, that's, that's so cool. That is cool. I don't even want to play with these cards because I just want to keep them in pristine condition. But I don't have another deck, so there's a good chance I'll play with these cards. I don't know. But whatever the case is, thank you so much. That's really awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we got one more item and i really don't know what this is but it's wrapped up all <gasps> oh i do know what this is okay now it kicked in <laughs> it kicked in i know what this is hang on oh okay this is a this is the this is a special piece oh come on you taped it up too good <laughs> this little alpaca hunter can't get past the tape. Ugh, come on, no. Okay, hang on. Okay, that's not gonna work. I, I taught, I tore a knife, but I, I guess I don't have one. Anymore. Nope, that's not gonna work. Ugh, okay, I know what this is and I really wanna get it out of the package. <laughs> you taped it way too well. Oh, Nick did this? Nick. Right, yeah. 
I don't I don't need anything else but my alpaca, my baby powder, my ramen, my jerky, and some playing cards. Like that's it. And then I got Draco Azul to keep me entertained. This is the coolest thing ever. So Oh my god, this tape. This tape, Nick. See, this is what happens when... Oh! Oh, hang on. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna work on that. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna probably gonna go get some a knife or something. This is cool. I wonder what this is used for exactly, but... This is a metal ace of spades. And, like, it's... There's nothing there, obviously, right? You can see right through it. But it looks like there's like creases here, and I'm not exactly sure why. Is it to like pick up something, maybe? This is cool. I'd like to know exactly what it is. It's a bottle opener. Okay. Got it. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. I will be right back because I really want to open this other one, but I can't do it with just my bare hands because, uh, you know, I got alpaca hands. <laughs> be right back. <laughs> So what you're trying to tell me about this ramen though, is that when it's like super cold outside, I can eat it and I will get warm instantly. <laughs> this is cool. I don't know where I'm gonna put this, but this is really cool. Oh, oh no. I think. Oh no. I think some of it chipped. Oh no. Oh, my face is too big. It won't fit. This is one of the masses they, that they made custom made for their, uh, for the cosplay, right? Like a fur vest. This is. I'm actually gonna keep the, the bubble wrap so it doesn't get destroyed. Little, oh, little pieces kind of chipped off around the edges. But this is really cool. This is really cool. I'm going to wear this like it's a Mortal Kombat thing. This is gonna be my mask whenever I go to the store. <laughs> I'll put this on. We didn't say what kind of mask you had to wear, just wear a mask, right? So I'll just wear this one. This will be good. I need to put like something around it. You failed, Nick. What? How? But this is really cool. This is like a this is a Caesar mask, designed to be in the shape of the Heisei, I mean of the Showa King Caesar. This is Laura's favorite monster, kaiju, whatever you want to call them. I'm just gonna start calling them monsters. Y'all call them kaiju's all you want. Monsters are monsters, and Kongas fall under that category. Just saying. This is really cool. Thank you guys so much. Up. This is really awesome. I can now be a part of the squad that has a mask. This is really cool. Thank you guys so much for sending this. I don't even, I don't know what to say. This is like Christmas. Monkey. He's just a big monkey. <laughs> This is really cool, and uh, thank you so much. It really means a lot to me that 
I was just honestly, I was just expecting. What are we gonna name the alpaca? Because I was just expecting the alpaca. All of this extra stuff, I was not expecting at all. Like, at all. But we gotta name. We gotta name the alpaca. Keep the Kong conspiracies out of it? Okay. Okay. And I'm probably gonna publish... I'll, li I'll leave this, uh, this alpaca package unboxing here. Scry-er. Pac... Pacino? Is it supposed to be Pacino? Scryers, scryers, scryer, scryer, pack chino. <laughs> I'll probably do a poll on YouTube and Twitter and see what people say as far as I'm putting this back in the bubble wrap, by the way, because I don't want to get damaged at all. Wow. Wow. I'm I'm really thank you so much, Laura and Nick. They're also supporters on Patreon as well. Thank you so much. Alpac Alpacion. Alpacion. Alpacion, that sounds cool. I like that. Alpacion. Or is it Alpacion? <laughs> I really Thank you so much. Like, I don't even, I don't know what to say. Thank you. I guess I'm your grandson now, according to this letter. <laughs> Put all this back before I mess it up. I gotta figure out where to put these. I got so like. <laughs> Ruse. Rue? We could call it Rue. Rue's a, Rue's a name. Kevin, after the goofy Ghidorah head from King of the Monsters. I could call it Kevin. The King Caesar mask is really super cool. It was cool to get you, to see you open it. Yeah, I didn't want to. I was thinking about it. And I was like, oh, I don't want to. I, I like when my my dad, like I said, he had already started opening it, and I and it was kind of already open, so I kind of saw a few of the things, and I was getting ready to dig in, and I was like, oh wait, hang on, we got to do a live stream so then everybody can see it, including Nick and Laura people who provided it I'm still trying to figure this one out though for real but I appreciate it. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. oh he was because he had no clue I mean he, he pulled out like this and what was the other thing that was like right on top? Oh, in the in the card, and it, the the card said my name on it. Yeah, yeah, it said Adam, and I guess that's what that's what triggered him going. Oh, this must be yours. But this is to brush the alpaca. Seriously, okay, okay, to keep it fluff. You know what? From now on, on the After Dark streams, this is what I'm going to be doing when they're talking about things that I can't comment on. I'm just going to be brushing my alpaca. 
Yeah, that's right. Cause I don't have any hair. Who doesn't have any hair? This guy. <laughs> Am I doing this right? Dude, the baby powder is the alpac. Yes. Need to brush. I don't know because the, the dog brush is meant to like pull hair out. Unless this is some weird from the Bayou alpaca toy that had some sort of it's got some sort of creepy voodoo on it. Dog brush. I don't want to do a dog brush. It's gonna pull the hair out. I don't want to pull the hair out. I just want to brush it. But this will keep it nice and soft. Oh, okay, so legit the baby powder is for you, okay. You learn something new every day. I wonder if it actually works on real alpacas. <laughs> I gotta... Nope, stay. It works. It works. I do. I have a new child. It made. It's made of real alpaca. Wait, this this hair is real alpaca hair? <laughs> you worried about sending me white powder in the mail. That's funny. <laughs> wait wait so this is real alpaca hair yeah oh wow now i really gotta get i gotta get a real one because this is nice rip other alpacas yeah i could literally this feels so good guys you guys don't understand i could literally just sit here and pet this it feels that good it's that good I almost don't want to use any of this stuff like the coffee mug, which I do want to use, but I don't want to use it because like I don't want to mess it up or anything and just have it. Because I have most of the things that I have are things that were given to me by people over time. Like, for instance, I got this keychain. My dad brought this to me uh, from his trip to Egypt, right? Which has got some like nifty cool little hieroglyphs on there. It's a really nice gold. This is gold keychain. And then like I got this from a friend who went to the Nintendo store in New York when she went to visit. Uh, she was a coworker of mine. And she brought this back for me. And then another coworker of mine got me this just before I moved to Florida because she was from Florida. Yeah, imagine a whole bed made out of a pack of fur. Holy crap. Holy bagoli. So, and then, you know, and then I got all these cards that I have, like this, this special Mewtwo. There's some magic cards behind it and stuff, but all these cards are like from when I used to, well, I had a bunch of friends that I used to play card games with. And this is also when I used to work at, uh, when I was a manager at a tabletop game store. That was really cool. Um, my goggles, these were given to me by my roommate from Arizona when I was trying, when I first started up my YouTube channel. And he was like, wear these and be the best Nickelback you can be. <laughs> so like, I have a lot of stuff things small little trinkets and stuff oh yeah i gotta find you know what i'm gonna put this with all of that stuff this is my uh my shin skin from shin godzilla so i gotta i'm gonna 
I'm gonna keep this box is gonna turn into my collector's collecting box. Did I play Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah, I played Yu-Gi-Oh. I was trained how to play Yu-Gi-Oh back in the day, not not like the newer stuff. I played back like when the game first came out, but I was trained by the regional the the regional champion of I think the Southwest, the Southwest regional champion. He taught me how to play and everything. So before I even went into tournaments and everything, I knew all the tricks, everything. I had a really good deck. And uh, and I came out the gate swinging hard. Has my power been been staying on? Yes, it has been staying on, Shay. Uh, luckily, Space Chicken, they sold that at the store. We bought the alpaca stuff from it. It was an entire store just for alpaca stuff. I wish I would have found that place when I visited Vegas a couple years back. That would have been so cool to see the alpaca store. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I got up super early. And so now it's starting to get close to my bedtime. I've only been live streaming for like not even an hour. But yes, I did play Yu-Gi-Oh. How much was what worth? The Shin? A piece of shit. Paul, what are you talking about? Alpaca Imports. I'll check. It's one of the malls here in Vegas. They sold like three foot tall alpacas. Oh, I would probably get one. Isn't that like life size? Alpacas really aren't that tall. Aren't that big. They're, they're tiny compared to like llamas. They're like the size of ponies. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you said... Oh, I'm sorry. That was Space Chicken that said how much was that worth. I bet they felt fluffy too. Did you touch them? Or were they like wrapped up? This is the coolest. The SS cards? The DA cards. The... No, what do you... The DA cards? I can't stop touching my new alpaca. It's so fluffy. It feels so good. I'm like, like, I'm not even like gripping it like this. I'm like rubbing the back of my hand across it and stuff. This is, it, this is real alpaca fur, hair, whatever you want to call it. I guess it's hair, technically. It feels so good. It feels so good. Pack of game cards so I put on the screen. Oh, the uh, the playing cards, the poker cards. <laughs> it was hard not to play with it when it was here. <laughs> I don't. I totally understand now. I totally understand. You're talking about the Pokemon cards? Or the, the Magic the Gathering cards? Can you? Maybe it's the way I'm holding my shoulder. Yeah, there we go. There we go. The Pokemon card or Magic cards. How much are these worth? Oh, I don't know. I would have to look them up. Uh, some of the Magic cards that I have in there, I think, are worth a couple, 
couple bucks at least, maybe, but, and I don't know how much that Mewtwo card is. I don't, I have a Red Eyes Black Dragon from this Shonen Chump Special Edition set, I think. And that's the only Yu-Gi-Oh card I have. Imagine if the Alpaca turns his head over to Adam. Yeah, but we are. <laughs> right? It's like, it's like. Yeah, the ones you flashed on the screen after you show your dad's keychain. Trying to keep my alpaca from falling off my shoulder. Let's see here. So I have this Mewtwo. There's no way I'll be able to keep this alpaca on my shoulder and show you the cards. It's just not gonna happen. Uh, I have an old school Atrog. It's like one of the old, old school magic cards. Um, I have an Academy Ruins, a Resurrection, take any creature from your graveyard, put it directly into play, treat this creature as though it were just summoned. Uh, uh, Pursuer Golem. Cleansing and then Yeah, this is the one this is the red eyes black dragon from the jump magazine. Uh you know they they were all really cool in their own way. Um But at the end of the day I played magic the most. The first game that I got into, well, technically speaking, the first one that I got into was Pokemon. Because, you know, back when they released those cards, and the, they had the Charizard that was worth like $50. If you have the first edition, it was worth like $100. Um, I had, I was collecting those, and I collected like, I had copies of every Pokemon from the first two sets. And I never actually played the game, I just had the cards. And then when I was in high school, I got introduced to Yu-Gi-Oh! And when I went to the comic book shop, that's when I met the guy that taught me how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! And, uh, and then I played that for like two, three years maybe. And then, uh, and then I got into... I don't really remember when I got into Magic the Gathering, but I know it was when I... I'm trying to think. No! I got into Magic before I got into Yu-Gi-Oh! I just didn't play it that much. Because I remember I had an artifact deck with the Arcbound Ravager. So yeah, I played that, and then I got into Yu-Gi-Oh! when I was in my senior year, so... Adam is the new Michael Jackson starting his Neverland tour. What are we talking about? <laughs> but I would, I would probably, to answer your question, Shay, I probably like Magic more. Um, mostly because it was, it was, it's... It's the one game where you can pretty much go anywhere in the world and people will be playing it. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! is pretty popular, Pokemon's pretty popular, and then I played a bunch of obscure games like they had The Versus, which was based off of DC and Marvel characters. That was a fun game. Then I played the Warcraft trading card game. Um, and then I had an Attack on Titan game, which I wish I still had, but I don't know what happened to that. Um, what kind of videos do I watch on YouTube? Uh, well, ever since 2020, I've gotten way more into politics, so I've watched a lot more political videos, but 
I mostly like to watch like documentaries and some conspiracy videos and like educational style videos like videos um, I really like uh, mythology and fiction explained I think is what it is uh, uh, see you in history uh, Academy of Ideas Charisma on Command um, or uh, is it Charisma on Command or Charisma on Demand I think it's Charisma on Demand um, <clears throat> uh, I watch video game movies like you know where they take the cutscenes and turn it into a little video what's up Shadow um Trailers, like movie trailers, whenever they pop out, well, at least ones that I'm interested in watching. Um, if there's like old school things on on YouTube, like you can watch the entire Showa era of Gamera movies on YouTube. Uh, I can watch the whole the whole anime Giver series is on YouTube. Um, they've got some nifty free movies. Uh, but I just kind of watch a little bit of everything. I, I like to watch a lot of animal stuff because it gives me an idea of how to animate, like, you know, Godzilla and other kaiju creatures or whatever. Do I watch other kaiju YouTubers? Not really. Um, the only one that I watch and it's only whenever they release a video is the one and he's not I wouldn't say he's a kaiju youtuber but he's an MMD animator like myself and he's the one that makes all those Godzilla Earth animations that look really good um, I'll occasionally watch a kaiju youtuber if it pops up on my feed and I'm like and there's uh, this is gonna sound bad literally nothing else to watch um, I do watch Nerd Cage when I remember that it's on because I know it comes on on Thursdays and I always like forget but then I'll try to go back and watch it anywhere. Um, so I may not ever make it directly on the live stream but I do go back and try to watch the clips and other stuff. Um, I'm your only kaiju YouTuber that you watch? Nice! I wouldn't even call me a kaiju YouTuber though. I would call me a creative. Because I don't, I don't do news, I don't do editorials, I don't do views, I make animations which just happen to be more Godzilla focused, but then I make music and stuff, and I want to do other things um, outside of kaiju, Godzilla and stuff, but I, I've always loved monsters and dinosaurs and stuff like that, and dragons, so I'm okay with it, I'm okay with it. I do have a new little friend. <laughs> so yeah. If I can just say hello to my little friend. We're still trying to figure out his name. Its name, she's not. I, I feel like I want to call it a she because it's so fluffy and pretty. Right? Maybe. I could be wrong. We'll figure out a name for this alpaca. Do you remember when I used to do audio drama, audio logs of Godzilla stories? Which I still go back and watch to this day, man, those were good times. But now you do animations even better. Pack chill. Maybe. Oh, it's falling forward. I can feel it. You know what? Oh, no, I can't do that. What is this? Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. There's a little tag, so I could maybe put, like, like a rubber band or something. 
or a string or something in the thing so if it falls it doesn't like completely fall off. My shoulders are too big. A spider web it's tangled up with me. I'm gonna have way too much fun with this on live streams. It's gonna distract the crap out of people, especially if I go on an after dark. Hackyzilla. <laughs> Never meant to cause you trouble. I See, I, I, I've I seen them, but all they do is reaction videos, and I'm just like, eh. Adam, what song is this? Oh, this is a cover that I did of Coldplay's Trouble, but I I turned it into a uh, like a trailer song. This is like they spun. It's okay. It's not one of my favorites. For me. They I like this is probably the one thing that like sticks out the most out of everything. For me. I'm really I'm honestly I'm really like excited they to work on and start reading this. This one, Laura and Nick, it has a T2 feel to it. Honestly, I'm trying to get out of paying attention to what's going on in politics and the news and stuff. It's been really bad for my mental health and I don't recommend it to anybody. It's good to know what's going on to get your facts straight, but if that's all you consume, which they play on the one emotion that is really hard to deal with, which is fear, right? That's all the media is, it's all politics is right now, is fear mongering. And it just, it eats away at your soul and you get depressed and you feel like, what can I do to help with the situation when there's really nothing you could do anyway? So I'm just trying to focus more on the work that I have ahead of me. Um, speaking of which, I guess I'll show you guys something that I, uh, that I have been working on. Speaking of at Nerd Cage Live, I'm looking forward to the video. Rumble in the Bronx, Jay. Yeah, me too. I'm looking forward to their watch party. Gonna be on that Godzilla vs. Kong watch party. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, I will show you what I have worked on so far um, for this new little animated series that I am working on. There's no sound, it's just animations.
Because I know this can't be a Scribe production stream without showing you some of the... Oh god, it hurts to look at. What this does? Oh, the dab. <laughs> I was hoping people would catch that little bit of comedy. I'm hyped. I'm hyped for the MK trailer. I'm super hyped for it. I'm super duper hyped for it, actually. I'm more hyped for that movie than I am Godzilla vs. Kong, not gonna lie. I was not expecting to Jaguar to dab. Yeah, well. This is just the battle animation. There's more animation that I have coming. Not a whole lot more, but a little bit more. And, uh... Yeah, it's coming. Yeah. I don't want to show it over and over again too much, but... Yeah, that's, uh... I know a lot of people are kind of looking forward to Mortal Kombat more so than King of the Monsters. <laughs> or, uh... Godzilla vs. Kong. So, but anyway, okay, so we've been going for an hour. I need to stand up, let, let my back stretch out, and uh, figure out what I'm going to do with all this stuff other than eat what I can eat. I might eat this ramen later because I'm thinking I'm hungry and thin. But I might keep the package just to, just, because I love ramen noodles. I love ramen noodles. So if anybody else is going to ever send me anything ever, please include some ramen noodles. And then I'm going to probably keep the package as best I can to show uh, my love for instant ramen noodles. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for, uh, for coming to the live stream and, and watching me unbox this stuff from Laura and Nick Fitkin. Thank you guys so much. There are also Patreons of mine. They get included in all the videos. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wants to live stream me eating them? I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably not gonna put the spice in there unless the spice is already on the noodles themselves. But if it's not, I'm probably not gonna pour the spice on there because I don't want to die. <laughs> I don't want to have heartburn. <laughs> Um, but, uh, I don't, I, I have weak constitutions, Laura. Like, I, I get really bad heartburn because of what I've eaten in the past and how much I tore up my esophagus and whatnot, like. I might, I might live stream the wrong, I'll make an ASMR video out of it, I'll be like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Okay, I'll tell you what, here's, here's the deal, eat hot sauce, no, okay, I'll tell you what we'll do, since you guys say these are super, super hot, I will, uh, I will save these, and we'll do a live stream of me eating them when I hit 10,000 subscribers. And that'll be my 10,000 10, subscriber special. I got super really hot ramen noodles from Laura and Nick. And I'm going to eat them. You guys are going to see me cry like a little baby. <laughs> I was going to say another word, but you know. But I'll eat, this will be my, this will be what I eat for my, for my 10,000 subscriber special live stream thingy, whatever. <laughs> so I won't eat these now. I'll save these. How about 5k? Because I'm not ready. <laughs> I need time. <laughs> okay, maybe 5k. Maybe 5k. Because I'm only at 
So, okay, maybe 5k. Yeah, we'll do 5k then. 5 alarm ramen noodles, right? <coughs> Excuse me. I'm really digging the beanie. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that this is also something. This is handmade too, and this is... It's so comfortable and so nice, and I'm not like burning up that it uh you did a really awesome job with this beanie i'm probably gonna be wearing this everywhere thank you space chicken hello wook you're ca catching just the tail end of the stream see look i haven't eaten i haven't even opened the ramen package and i'm already sneezing off of the uh the, sp the spice Oh no. Oh no. There's a problem, guys. And I've never seen this before, but we have a problem here. Do y'all see that? That's an expiration date on this ramen noodle. And just because it's so blurry, let me point it out to you. That says 2000, oh look, it cleared up. 2021, this year, the 7th, which is June. Oh, I'm sorry, is it June or July? It's one of those two. And then the 15th. So I have to eat it this year. I have to eat this this year. July. I have to eat this by July 15th. So we gotta get to 5,000 subscribers by July 15th. <laughs> oh man. Dude, it's ramen. It will last forever. Die. Nah, this ain't just regular ramen, dude. This is, co this is made in Korea ramen. This is special ramen. It's like an MRE. <laughs> I gotta keep this box for Big Jack too. Or I keep saying Big Jack. It's Jack Leaves. Love is in the head. take that off the box but I could take it off the box <laughs> this ain't your regular chicken ramen soup yeah no joke I ate the last of it already but um okay so I, I meant to like in the stream a little bit ago so now we're really gonna do it so thank you guys so much for checking out the stream if you are watching this and you're not live watching the stream then make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on bell notifications because youtube's having a real issue with notifying my subscribers that i got a new video out um so turn on bell notifications smash the like button as they say uh and leave a comment down below uh, I might actually eat this ramen, might do a live stream with the ramen sooner rather than later. Maybe I'll do it on an after dark so everybody can make fun of me. Um, but uh, but yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for coming. Check out my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash cry. Become a patron today. And, uh, and I will see you in the next live stream slash video. Bye everybody. Thanks again.